I'm joined today by David DeCanto, and he is heading up a project that has made a big difference in town already and will make an even bigger difference in town going forward. And that is the Sandwich High School Stadium. And what we have now is the track, and it's a beautiful track, by the way. Thank I you. did did get a chance to take a look at it. Um, tell us about that track and, and why we needed to replace the prior track that we had. Well, the old track was actually condemned in 2002. It was in such poor shape that the athletic directors and principals from our league, the Atlantic Coast League that Sandwich belongs to, actually uh, said that they could not be used for um, track, either cross country or mm. track meets because it was so dangerous. Well, it had all kinds of cracks in it. And oh, it had even cracks and holes and, and, <laughs> right. and, and, the, and even some of the patches that were done previously to sort of hold it together, the um, chunks of it would delaminate and, and just sort of come off in the storms. So was that the, the impetus for getting this project going uh, or is that just part of the bigger vision? Part of the bigger vision. What happened was uh, my family was looking to um, donate some money in my brother's name uh, who was killed. He was a captain in the Navy. He was killed in the Pentagon and the 9-11 attacks, the terrorist attacks. And we were looking to have a living memorial, something in Sandwich that we could uh, use as a memorial for Jerry. And since he was an outstanding athlete at Sandwich High School, he was an outstanding soccer player and baseball player, we thought it was fitting to look at different facilities. I just happened to run into someone from the stadium committee um, about now, about five years ago, um, and I was very intrigued by what they were trying to do. And I said to my family, this would be a fitting tribute to Jerry. So it was all. actually somebody else that had the idea of creating the stadium. Yes. And you heard about it and said, well, this fits into what we're looking for. Exactly. So when I came to the committee and said, we're looking to donate a quarter of a million dollars, and I'm also here to volunteer my time, they said, great. And that's how I got on board. Right. Now, the fundraising... What kind of project is this, by the way? Are we talking about millions or what? We're talking overall for all the different phases, um, about $4 million. Okay, $4 million, and that's in a number of phases. So where are we now, and what's the next phase? The track phase, because it also includes some of the underground drainage for the new field, was about a million dollars. Mm -hmm. So we need to raise about $3 million more. And this is a regular natural turf field at this point, right? At right now, it's a grass field. Uh, part of the project is to change that from a grass field to an artificial surface because there are so many teams uh, trying to use fields at the high school. You need to have that surface so that multiple teams can use it. Um, you can't just run team after team after team on a natural sod field. Um, it has to have rest. And that's right. part of the problem that we have in the town of Sandwich is we just don't have enough fields to be able to accommodate all the sports teams that are out there. That's correct. So you've done all of the drainage work and all so that when you have one of these synthetic fields, you're set for that, right? So That's correct, so we can hook up to that. Is that the next phase or, or stands, lights, the, those types well, of I'm things? I'm glad you asked the up. question because um, we're prepared to go in many different directions. What we did as far as the fundraising is we have a brick campaign, mm -hmm. uh, which is a memorial brick circle uh, that you can buy a brick. You can have your name put on it or a loved one's name put on it, as well as the brick uh, walkway all the way up along the school. Now, That's, how would somebody buy a brick? Um, they could go to our website, which is the sandwichsportscomplex.com, um, and you can download an application, or you could certainly call me at 508-888-8571. I'd be happy to send you an application. Also, for fundraising, we have put together a full media package that can be put over the Internet, uh, putting together what the stadium would look like, naming rights for different parts of it, for lights, for okay. stands, for buildings, um, so that we're prepared to uh, build it in small phases as well as large phases. We've also gone to different um, contractors, architects, and engineers around town to donate their time so that if we can get enough money, for example, to put up a new building for concessions and restrooms, we can do that first, or we could put up the stands. Okay. So if you do the restrooms, and I wanted to sponsor one of the stalls, 
Could could we do like the Randy Hunt Royal flush stall? Absolutely. Okay. Well, nice brass So plaque. we could work a deal out sure. no matter what. No matter what. We'll be happy to talk to you. Yep. So realistically, how much more money do you have to raise before we see the next piece of construction occur? Realistically, we need to raise about $100,000 more before well, you see the next large much. phase. No. Mm, okay. And we've positioned ourselves so we can do that in smaller or large phases. Mm -hmm. And we've worked with the school to make sure that all the pieces will fit through the master plan. Because we have the master plan done, uh, all the engineering and surveying, uh, all the drawings have been done for the master plan, so everything will fit uh, correctly. Well, this is definitely a call to all of the philanthropists out there, because uh, $100,000 is, is not a lot when you really focus your mind to it to uh, get the next phase going. So we'd love to see that happen. Uh, what's happened so far has been great. Now, the track team is back out on the track, isn't that right? It's wonderful, and we are told by um, knowledgeable track coaches around the state that we have the best track in southeastern Massachusetts. Well, there We're you very go. Very proud of that. So, so you've gone from banned <laughs> <laughs> to the best track in southeastern Massachusetts. That's really great. Yep. So I appreciate you coming on to talk about that. Once again, give them your number and a website that you can, you can uh, actually find out more about it and contribute. Thanks. The phone number is 508-888-8571, and the website is the sandwichsportscomplex.com. That's terrific, Dave. I appreciate you coming on. And uh, as we continue down the road of this project, I would love to get some more video on so people can see where we are and where we're going on That'd the That'd be great. Thank you very much. Thank you.